Two new teams, two new divisions, a conference championship game, and a whole new television deal. It is the new Pac-12, and it rates as number three on our Mark Rogers TV BCS conference ratings with the Big East at number six, the ACC at five, the Big 12 at four, and the Pac-10 coming in, a respectable, solid number three. Let's run down the South Division, starting with Arizona and quarterback Nick Foles, 67% 67% completion percentage, 20 TDs, and 10 picks. Joined in the backfield by Keola Antolin at 900 yards, rushing and receiving, nine total touchdowns. And the best wideout in the Pac-12, Jerron Kreiner, 82 receptions, 1,200 yards, and 11 touchdowns. These are three skilled, experienced, dynamic players on offense for the Wildcats. So what's the problem? The problem is offensive line, defensive line, both inexperienced, and not very talented. And if you can't block people up front on offense, you can't stop the run or rush the passer, you're in trouble despite having those three skilled players. Head coach Mike Stoops has done a great job with Arizona lifting that program out of the depths, out of the ashes to respectability, but can that program take another step after getting blasted in the last two bowl games, 69-10? to Arch-rival Arizona State headed by Dennis Erickson, whose recruiting efforts have all pointed to this, 2011, as being the breakout year in Tempe. 6'8 junior quarterback Brock Osweiler gets the nod after starting Arizona State's final two W's last season. Arizona State brings back most of its players on defense, the best rush defense in the Pac-10. And uh, Arizona State's going to have to step it up, though, against quality opponents. Just 11-21 against FBS, i.e. Division I opponents, last season. UCLA could be in the hunt. Rick Neuheisel came on board five or six years ago, was supposed to be the savior of the program, but the Bruins, again, 4-8 and eight last season for the second time in three years. Neuheisel has recruited well on paper. It just has not come together for him. He does, again, have top-flight talent on that roster, but not necessarily at quarterback where he is yet to either find one or develop one, Kevin Price will get the nod for the Bruins in 2011. He will need to step it up and give UCLA the type of quarterback play it hasn't had in 10 or 12 years. Utah is now getting to play with the big boys, and they're led by quarterback Jordan Wynn. He had 17 touchdowns and 10 picks last year at 62% completion percentage. The Utes led on defense by the front seven. They're going to be challenged in the secondary with four new starters for Utah. And again, it's going to be interesting. They get to play the big boys week in, week out. Let's see if it wears on that Utah program. Then we've got also USC with Matt Barkley back at quarterback. 26 touchdowns and 12 picks. USC still has top flight talent coming off that 7-5 and five year. Of course, the bowl ban again extends to this season. Scholarship reductions for the next two years. But let's not feel real sorry for the USC Trojans. This program still loaded with talent. It's just number one, not very deep, the roster. And number two, most of the blue chippers, very young. And if you look at the Trojans' season last year, they lost most of those five games in the late going. Those blue chippers need to learn how to win football games. And then finally, we've got Colorado with new head coach John Embry just trying to survive. That first year in the Pac-12, it could be mighty ugly. We'll be back with a preview of the North Division in that Stanford-Oregon duel, plus the big statement non-conference games to look at in the new Pac-12 on Mark Rogers TV.